This is the most dangerous problem in mathematics. How is it dangerous? Here's how it works. Pick a number, seven. Good choice. Lucky We're going to apply two rules. If the number is odd, we multiply by three and add one. Three okay. times seven is 21, plus one is 22. If the number is even, we divide by two. 22 divided by two is 11. Okay. Now we keep applying these two rules. 40, which is even, so we divide by two. 20, divide by two. 10, divide by two. Five, odd. Multiply okay. by three, 15, add one, 16, divide by two, that's eight, and then four, two, and one. Now one is odd, so we multiply by three and add one, which equals four. But four goes to two, goes to one, so we're in a loop. I actually argue that's a safe problem because keeping you in a control room like steady state nuclear power plant operations is one of the safest places to be. And the lowest number is one. Now the conjecture is this. Every positive integer, if you apply these rules, will eventually end up in the four, two, one. Maybe what he means by dangerous is this can lead to a time sink in people trying to solve these sorts of problems that just aren't worth it because it's not really advancing science or safety or anything. And you're just going to reach a dead end. Kind of like cold fusion.